Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be reviewing the Witch from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And this is from the WDCC or the Walt Disney Classic Collection line for short. Uh, the last time I on this channel I reviewed the Evil Queen. So I, th I, just, I just thought it might be fitting that next one should be her alter ego. So, um, let's get into it. So right now we get to her face and as you can see, it is a very, very accurate representation of her face as she is in the movie. Uh, the coloring on this statue though, looks a lot darker and a bit more tan. Um, it doesn't look as much on the video, but in real life, it's actually a lot more darker than what it is. But um, nevertheless, it's a very, very um, striking representation of this witch. Even they got her green eyes right and everything. And even the shape of the hair and the texturing. It's all there. And of course, you have... You couldn't have the witch without that iconic poison apple. And it's got a very sheen red color as if it's tempting Snow White to eat it. Her hands in the um, description was described as being made of pewter. And I assume because of all these fragile pieces, the nails and the long hands, you need something that's a bit more sturdy and won't break easily when touched. Overall, her design is quite simple. It's just a simple, shiny black dress, but um, it's still very... As I mentioned before in the Evil Queen review, um, it's what the figure needs, you know, they're this line doesn't exactly embellish or add anything unnecessary to the figure you know if a figure like the witch it's you know she just has a long black dress like a peddler so that was it you know there's no additional design added to it uh, the one feature that they added was that they said this black paint paint is made to look like like um fabric folds by adding some kind of a sheen to it that's why you know you, you've got this sort of slight reflections on the figure and what i love about these um collection line is also that um the bases are usually very accurate to what the figure is standing on in the movie itself you know most f sculpture nowadays you know the sculptor would just put them on a random base you know just to you know just to make it look interesting but um this line actually goes the extra mile to research what is the character standing on in that scene you know in that particular scene when she's offering the apples to snow white you know she's on the dwarf's cottage so it's made out of wood so of course it's made out of wood and another unnecessary thing i just thought is um this figurine doesn't really need a base. I mean, she's a, she can pretty much stand on her own. So I, I'm not sure why they added a base to it. Um, probably um, to match the Snow White sculpture that they added in which she's about to eat the apple. However, you know, if you put them next to each other for a scene, it wouldn't make sense because you would have two poison apples. So I'm not really sure why they added the base in the first place, but you know, it's a, it's not a big deal, but, um, it's just curious and you can see a little bit of her shoe pointing right there you can see that really s striking silhouette of that nose and that chin I mean the witch along with the evil queen has probably got to be the most one of the most scariest villains you know they really represent real threat you know and there's no um i guess a, a hint of humor about them 
you really just want to um, eliminate Snow White, and that was it. That that's their only goal. You know, there is no wicked sense of humor. You know, they don't enjoy. I don't suppose they they don't enjoy being evil as much as Ursula. You know, let's say Ursula or Jafar does. You know, these two characters, they they're really focused on just trying to destroy um, Snow White. Yeah, and that's the other view. That's pretty much it. Simple yet iconic. That's how I called it. Alright, so that concludes this review and I'll see you next time. Bye. Uh, oh yeah, and don't forget to comment and subscribe. Thanks.